Good evening, boys and girls. Welcome to Candy's Cozy Couch. My name is Candace, and my nickname is Candy. That's how I came up with that really pretty name. Yep, it's pretty. Just like the spring flowers. Pretty, I say. All right, well, it is Easter night. Hope you guys enjoyed your day. But we are going to get ready for a pet list for our bedtime story. Getting ready for the checklist. Getting ready for the checklist. Getting ready for the checklist. Checklist, checklist time. Checklist time. All right, yeah. I don't know where I came up with that song. It kind of came out of nowhere. All right, now I got a crowd of uh, cuddle buddies here. All oh, these are the springy ones. And Chicken was mad because this morning when I did the story, he didn't get out. So I made sure to make sure that Chicken was here with us tonight. All of our spring buddies. And of course, C5 is behind me. They're, they're back there. Yes, they are to my left, to my right. Anyway, boys and girls, I hope you had a wonderful Easter day. I hope you did something fun. Maybe an Easter egg hunt or an egg drop. Maybe you dyed some Easter eggs. Open Easter baskets. Hope you guys had a good dinner. I'm asking that in advance, so I don't have to worry about that when I get to it. If you get to those dinners, hope you're eating well and your bellies are full and satisfied. But I hope that you did something fun and unique and different and exciting and memorable today. And at dinner time, I hope you had good conversation with your family. You chatted it up. You talked about things. I just ask that you enjoy your meal and spend time with family. That's important every day. Now, I hope you did homework. I know you're like, what? Yeah, because you know you go back to school tomorrow, most of you guys. There are some districts that are on school. On school. spring break though it's weird this year spring break has just been goofy this year I don't know but anyway academic practice all the time doesn't matter if it's assigned to you by your teachers you always want to stimulate your big beautiful brilliant brains oh well, let's see did you do your chores help out around the house clean up pick up put it away clean up every day and did you especially clean your rooms Hope that they are nice and neat for you. All right, what about your PJs? You pick out your PJs yet? And after that, make sure that you pick out the clothes that you're going to wear for tomorrow. Yes, indeed. Then you have to take a bath or a shower so that your body's fresh and clean. So make sure that you do that. Take a bath or a shower so your body's fresh and clean. From head to toe, you already know. Then dry off with your towel so that you can um, put on lotion so your skin is soft and smooth and refreshed. And don't forget to clean your ears and your nose. Okay, if you need to. All right, make sure that gets done. Make sure you wash your hair, comb your hair, brush your hair, wrap up your hair, do what you have to do. I just put conditioner in my hair. So I'm going to rinse it out in just a minute. It's not a leave-in conditioner. Um, let's see. You use the bathroom one last time. You got to pee your pool before you get comfortable in bed so you don't get an interruption of your dreams. And if you have any medicine or vitamins or special equipment that you need to help you sleep, make sure that your parents assist you with that to make sure that everything is all taken care of. And don't forget to brush your teeth, floss your teeth, and rinse out your mouth. That's important. Make sure you do that. Now, let's see. Don't forget to turn on your nightlight too, boys and girls. In case you need to get up in the middle of the night. I'm going to read a story or have a story read to you. Of course, I've got you. I've got another Easter story for you guys to close out the holiday. And um, so you want to make sure that you're ready for your bedtime story. Now, don't forget to give your I love yous, hugs, smooches, and kisses. All your affection and love. To your family members, your pets that you live with. Show them some love before everyone goes to sleep. And then, of course, when you're getting yourself tucked in, 
Remember to say your prayers. Don't forget to say your prayers before you go drifting off into dreamland. That's important. Now I think I covered everything. So check, 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 check. Yay. All right, boys and girls. This story is called Happy Easter Day B um, by Bridget Wenninger and Eve Tharlett. From uh, uh, this is from North South Books. I don't know who the publisher is. Mm -hmm. Look at the back too. This side is pretty. I just want to show it to you. <coughs> excuse me. I don't sneeze. <coughs> Twice, excuse me. All right. Happy Easter, Davy. Mm. has come at last. Davy the little rabbit and his family sat outside their burrow soaking up the warm sunshine. Suddenly David's big brother Dan came running. What is he running for? We don't know but we're about to find out. Guess what I've just heard, said Dan excitedly. Tomorrow is Easter, when human children are presented and pretty eggs. And who brings them? A rabbit. He's called the Easter Bunny, and he lives right here in, his, in this woods. Where? asked Davy. Fire, fat, fat, excuse me. Father Rabbit, Father Rabbit search or scratch his head there are lots of rabbits in the woods he said but i've never met an easter bunny well all right i guess we gonna meet one now then huh Ooh we i guess we gonna meet him all right me want present squeaked baby dina me too, said Big Sister Daisy. Why doesn't he bring us anything? Let's go and ask him, said Danny. So off they went to find the Easter Bunny. Okay, so they on a hunt. They're like, we're going to find this Easter Bunny. All right. They searched high and low. But the Easter Bunny was nowhere to be found. Really? I wonder why. Davy's brother and sister went home disappointed. But Davy stayed behind to think, it's not fair, he grumbled. To Nikki, his toy rabbit, the Easter Bunny should come to us. We're bunnies. Suddenly, Davy jumped up. I've got an idea, he said. Come on, Nikki. We've got work to do. All right. Well, we've got some work to do, I guess. Let's see. wonder what it is. First, we need some eggs, said Davy. I wonder where the Easter Bunny gets them. He saw a nest with five speckled eggs, but he couldn't take those. There were baby birds inside waiting to hatch. Davy ran down to the riverbank and found some beautiful egg-shaped pebbles instead. Now for the presents, he said. What is he doing? What is Davy doing? I don't know. Davy's 
on the secret place to work all day long. First he painted the pebbles, then he made a basket for Daisy's toys on Easter Bunny, an Easter Bunny doll for little Dina, and bark boats for Dan and Danny. Finished, said at last, Nikki. He said, tomorrow everyone will think the Easter Bunny came after all. Well, he really worked, huh? That night, Daisy was so excited he could hardly sleep. When dawn broke, he tiptoed outside and hid the eggs and presents. His brothers and sisters were still fast asleep when he crept back into bed. Oh, okay. He really is working here. He is working. Right. I love that he thought of his siblings to where he wanted them to have presents on Easter. That's pretty cool. At last, the rabbit children woke up and hopped out of the burrow. Daisy tripped over something round. Look, I found an Easter egg, she cried. And here's another one, said Dan. So the Easter bunny did come. Daisy, Danny. Dina and Dan started on an Easter hunt. They were so excited when they found all the other eggs and the presents. Oh boy. That's a good day for them. Did you guys have the Easter egg hunt today? What about you, Davy? said Mother Rabbit. Didn't you find anything? Davy blushed from head to toe. Now they would all guess that he was the Easter Bunny. Mm, not yet, he stammered. Hmm. Let's see what happens. Davy pretended to look under a bush. He knew he hadn't hidden anything there. But what was this? A pretty painted egg and a little wooden flute. Davy was puzzled. Who could have hidden them? How nice, said Father Rabbit. It seems the kind Easter Bunny brought something for all our children. This calls for a celebration. Let's have a picnic. Now, who do you guys think hid that? Don't know. I think it was Dad. I think it was Father Rabbit. So the Rabbit family spent a happy Easter day out in the meadow. Yes, indeed. Looks like they had fun. And the happiest of all was Davy, the secret Easter bunny. Yay. And that is the end. The end. The end of our story. All right, boys and girls. Again, I hope you guys had a wonderful Easter day. I hope you spent that time with family that you got. All the Easter eggs and jelly beans and all the fun stuff. Maybe some maybe some teddy bears. Some good stuff, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Now, with that being said, it's time to go to dreamland. And maybe dream, you know, um, dream, dream your day over again. Dream the fun that you had today for Easter. Just the thought. It's up to you. All right, boys and girls, close your eyes. Get in bed, comfy, cozy, snug as a bug in the rug. Tuck in tight. Get ready for a good night. Now, if those eyes are closed, whisper to yourself what you would like to dream about. Whatever it may be, it's all up to you. Allow your body to relax and be calm and just laid back and safe and sound. 
and let yourself drift off to sleep so you can dream your special dreams. All right, boys and girls, you go ahead and do that. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.